My name is Firefly, and I am on an adventure to find some ladybugs. Are you ready to help me? Day number one. We are going to find some ladybugs that just got laid and do some eggs. Now, they are usually yellow and kind of resemble a jelly bean or like a yellow cherry tomato. Let's see if we can find any. They're going to be on leaves. Nope. I don't see any. These like a these leaves look better. Holy cow. I think we found some. Let me take this leaf so you can see a closer view. These are definitely ladybug eggs. Those yellow all in a row. Yep, those are ladybug eggs. They will stay like that for about four days or so. Let's wait four days and then see what comes out of them. All right, welcome back. This is Firefly again. This is on day four, so they should have hatched Let's go find some ladybug eggs or what emerged out of them, which would be the larva. Now, if I remember, I think the leaf was in this tree here. What we're looking for is a black, real long, kind of narrow insect with lots of legs and pretty, uh, pretty spiky. Oh my gosh, there it is. Okay, now I don't recommend this, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna move it out of this tree to get a closer look here. Whew, let's put it on the ground. It's okay, little guy. Oh my goodness, oh, he's pooped. He just plopped, plopped down. But here we can see it's a ladybug larva. Yep, lots of little pokey things. Whew, lots of legs. Now he, or she, is going to be sitting on one of these plants, eating all of the aphids, mealy bugs, mites, scale, all those little icky things that are on your plants. This little guy's gonna eat. Whew, good job, little dude. Now he's gonna stay like that Whoa, thought he just moved. Nope, all right. It's gonna stay like that for a while. And then he's going to move into a little cocoon. But let's wait for another day to find that. All right, bye for now. Okay guys, it is now day 18. And those larvae ate all kinds of bugs. And now they shed most of their skin again and again and again called molting and they should be in this tree and they're going to form a pupa oh look there it is it's in this kind of sack made of all of their dead molted skin and they hang from the tree now again, I don't recommend this, but for the purpose of this instructional video, take a look. Look at his legs all crammed up in there. Whoo! He's tight. Alright. I bet there are pupa all over this tree. Now we have to wait. He's going to sit in there and he's going to be changing. It's going to be just like a butterfly in a cocoon. We'll see what this guy emerges as. So you saw him, he had a long black cylindrical body, lots of legs, all kinds of pokey parts. Okay, let's see what he turns into. But now we have to wait. It takes a long time to change like that. Hang on, and we'll come back in a few days. Okay everyone, welcome back. Again, my name is Firefly. This is now day 30 and we'll see what emerged out of that pupa. 
We are now going to be looking for an adult ladybug. So I bet you all know what a ladybug looks like in, in books and things. So we're going to be looking for that. All right, let's keep our eyes out. Now these ladybugs, whoop, there it is. There it is. You see him? There he is. He's munching on some aphids and this peony plant. So he will eat and eat and eat and eat as much as he can until it gets cooler. Once he gets, once the weather turns cool, then they will start to hibernate. So let's just leave this guy alone. He seems to be doing all right. You can tell it's a, it's a common ladybug because there's going to be seven spots if I can get close enough without scaring him. There's one spot in the middle and the top that's shared between the shell and then three on each side, the red shell. Now as he comes out of that pupa that we saw over there, looks like the sack had dropped from the tree. He's going to come out kind of yellowy and the shell is going to be soft. And as he gets older, the red is going to be more brilliant. It's going to turn darker and darker red, although he'll always have the same number of spots. There we go. All right, little dude, you just keep on eating. Okay, well, let's see what happens when the weather gets cold. All right, guys. It's now fall and the temperature's dropping. And there's some bark here some ferns, some rocks, and some dead branches. This is prime ladybug habitat for them to go to sleep over the winter. So, good night ladybugs. See you in the spring. All right guys, welcome back. This is Firefly again. This is the last addition to my ladybug documentary. It's now spring. The sun is out a lot more, it's warmer, there's lots of trees and shrubs and flowers in bloom. Now we are going to be looking for some more ladybug eggs. Those ladybugs came out of hibernation and they are looking to lay eggs. They lay about 5,000 a year over the, whole I'm sorry, over the whole course of a ladybug's life. It's crazy! A lot of them aren't fertile, but oh, there it is. There it is. There's the leaf with the ladybug. That's an enormous leaf. Must just be the camera angle. There you go. All right, the circle of life continues. Well, that's all for now. This is Firefly signing off.